what's up beautiful people my name is Sable and welcome to my channel Curls CPA where I take you on my perfectly imperfect hair and life journey and today I'm going to be reviewing a new mask and it is from doo -doo -doo -doo, Honey's Handmade and as you guys can see it is finished it is completed but y'all this mask is amazing it is their just avocado minute deep conditioner and it has French green clay, which is good for scalp detoxification. <laughs> scalp detoxification. The ingredients have scalp cleansing properties, and the avocado oil promotes hair growth. And y'all, this mask is so slippery. Oh my gosh! You don't believe me? Watch. <laughs> And so I just finished washing and conditioning my hair. And because I'm trying to, you know, get in and out of the shower, I wanted to use this quick deep conditioner because they say you can use it for a minute and it'll still be effective. And guys, when this hit my hair, it was like, oh my goodness. First of all, it's softening. It's silky slip city. Okay. Like, I don't know if it's, the emulsifier, the avocado butter, the French green clay, the aloe juice, the other uh, eucal, I don't know which ingredient it is, but this mask is very, very slippery. And I thought that I wasn't gonna be able to use this tiny little two ounce jar to for my whole entire head. So I have like, you know, a mask on deck on the floor here, but I didn't need another one. Like this was enough for me. A little bit goes a long way and it just coats the strands very, very nicely. Oh my goodness. Like, honestly, I can see why they say it's a minute deep conditioner because my hair like immediately, immediately just grabbed onto it and it just went up into my strands. It kind of reminds me of how the Allocate Naturals Honey and Sage deep conditioner just kind of like went all up in there immediately. This did that as well. So I definitely enjoyed the application of this mask. I know I say it's a minute deep conditioner, but I'm just gonna leave it in for a little while. And while I do that, while I wait, I'm going to be using my Teamy Detox mask. Now I use this mask about like two to three times a week. Hello. Now I use this mask about two to three times a week and I really like it. If you didn't see my last skincare routine video, I'll link that up above and down below, but I am still using it and still loving it. And on Black Friday, I actually ordered some more of their skincare products because they were having a good sale. <laughs> um, but I'll leave my coupon code down below just in case you guys wanna cop this mask, but I'm still using it and loving it. So let's get this all over my face. Ugh, let's have a mini self-care moment. And I've actually been applying it with my hands these days. I find that I don't use as much when I use my hands because I can kind of feel it <laughs> and place it where I want it to go. Come a little closer. Yeah. I do like using their applicator like brush thing, but this is a little faster for me now that I kind of found my technique. <laughs> And I think because I was applying so much of it, that's why it was taking forever to come off my face. Getting my Shrek on. And this thing goes on really smoothly. Like, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. I look crazy. I look like mask. That's what I look like. I said I look like Shrek, but I look like um, Jim Carrey. <laughs> I can feel it working. Mm. But it needs to dry faster. I'm trying to wash this deep conditioner out. And get on with my night. Okay, and so while the mask dries, I'm just gonna answer a couple of questions. One of my curl friends, Carolina Curls, she tagged me in this get to know your natural hair, natural hair tag. And so I'm just gonna answer some of those questions while my face dries. <laughs> Okay. Some of these questions are kind of related and so I'm just kind of going to group them together. But the question is, why did you start your natural hair journey and how long have you been natural? And then it asks, are you natural, relaxed, or transitioning? And so of course I'm natural. I have been natural my whole life. Like I've never had a perm before. I did have color one time, but we could talk about that later. <laughs> but in terms of like the natural hair journey, I actually started doing my own hair around about 10. Uh, maybe a little bit before that and what was happening was all my little cousins were getting perms and all you know the people that I was in school with were getting perms and I asked my mom can I get a perm and she said no she said no and so then I fired her as my hairstylist <laughs> and then I started doing my own hair 
here, but I was really, really bad at it. Like I looked, when I look back at pictures, I'm like, why are people telling me that I was cute? Yeah. I was struggling, okay? But I literally probably wore my hair in one most of the time. Um, when I had my hair like yeah. out um, and curly, it them curls was limp. <laughs> I don't know. It was it was it was kind of bad, but I kind of stuck to it. I was really good at like doing those little rubber band styles, and you know I kind of figured it out. But when I really started to get into like hair care and hair health, probably about like 2008, 2009, that's when I started to watch a lot of YouTube. And I mean, I was watching Natural 85, Mahogany Curls, Minnie Marley, Kimi Tube, Cassandra Bakai, like you know a bunch of of the OG people and some of some people that I don't even see on YouTube anymore, but I just kind of watched and absorbed, you know? So it's crazy how my journey started from YouTube and now I'm kind of helping people on their journey on the YouTube. So, you know, I'm giving back, I'm giving back. Okay, what's the next question? What is your hair length now? What is your goal length? Right now I am kind of like at the top of bra strap length in terms of like my length goals. <sighs> I don't know, like I, I'm a person that says I wanna grow my hair and then I cut it. And one of the other questions was, is um, health, are you health over length? And I am really health over length, right? If, if my hair is becomes like um, harder to detangle or if I notice that my ends are split, like I will, I will go to the salon and get it cut, okay? But in terms of like length goals, I mean, I would like to have, I guess, mid back length. I, I'm not, I'm not go, trying to go past that because I don't want to have to be going to the bathroom and pulling my hair over so we don't get in the toilet. You know, I just mid back is fine, and I'd probably just keep cutting it or whatever. But yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. Um, what is my hair texture? So the truth is, I don't know. Y'all, I don't know what my hair texture is. I do know some of my hair characteristics, like my hair is medium to low porosity. This side is a little lower than this side. I know that the front of my hair is kind of like low to medium density. The front and the back are low to medium density. The middle is kind of like medium to high. My strands are, they're fine in the front, and then in the middle, they're pretty medium. I don't know my numbers and letters, y'all. I just claim the type four and that's it. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> and I don't need you to tell me, but I just, I don't really focus on the hair typing chart that much. I just know that I have, you know, coarser hair than the average. And so that's why I identify as like a four. But I got this, you know how you have Layla who's a fusion of cultures? This is a fusion of textures. There's a lot of stuff going on up in here, okay? And so, I don't know. <laughs> what else, what else, what else, what else? If you could only use one product, what would it be? Um, I'm gonna take this as one type of product and not necessarily like a specific product, but I would, if I could only use one thing, I would take one of those multi-use leave-in type of things. So those products you could use as a leave-in, a conditioner, a co-wash, a deep conditioner, like the melanin hair care leave-in or like the main choices three-in-one. Like I would choose something like that because then I got the best of all the worlds. <laughs> what is the worst product that you've ever used? In terms of the most disappointing, <laughs> it was definitely the My Organics Rice Water Leave-In Conditioner. <laughs> Y'all, when I told you that product catfished me, I was catfished. It felt really good going on my hair. Like I was like, yes, yeah, okay, okay, Maya, do your thing. When I tell you my hair, when it dried, it was so frizzy. I did a twist out and a wash and go and it did the same exact thing. I feel like the product just dried my hair out. And so that is a product that I would not use again. All the other things aside, just the product standing alone, I'm not using that, I'm not using it again. I think I gave it away actually. Yeah, so next. What is your go-to hairstyle? It's either a twist out or it's gonna be a twist out on the top of my head into like a little top knot bun. Like, that's how you'll see me on a regular day. I'm sure if you, you know, you follow me on Instagram and you see my stories, my hair is usually on the top of my head because I have some nerve issues. Um, sometimes I don't want my hair on me, so I just pull it up away out of my face. Now, speaking of nerve issues, if you guys wanna know why I have nerve issues, you know, 
If you guys want a little story time, let me know down in the comments and I'll spill the tea. Get it tea, tea me. <laughs> it's almost dry. <laughs> I'm almost done with the questions. <laughs> the next question is, are you a product junkie? Duh. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> Y'all, I'm not only a product junkie, but I'm a product hoarder, okay? Like, <sighs> that's why I give out products so often during the year because what will end up happening is I keep a bunch of stuff and then like maybe a couple months pass and I realize I'm not using it and then I force myself to give it away. But if it was up to me, I would just keep everything. Um, I don't know, like I have this, um, I always wanna be prepared for everything kind of mindset. And so I'm like, I need it all. Like, <laughs> you know, but I think my desire to help people and let people try products and stuff like that, I think that desire is greater than my natural hair product hoarding. If it's someone that I'm trying to, you know, oh, you wanna try these products? Oh, you wanna get, your journey going on that is easy when i come home though i feel a little sad <laughs> i can't lie i do feel sad but i mean it's it's a good cause it's a good cause <laughs> what's the next question how often do you trim your ends pre-covid three three to four months. So I was either going to the salon three times a year or four times. That's because I love crispy, blunt ends, okay? At this point, um, because of COVID, I've only had like two trims this year. And because I'm taking care of my hair and I'm not doing as many wash and goes, my ends are actually surviving. Yeah, I noticed that with it at, at each wash day, my hair is still moisturized. And so because my hair isn't as dry as it was, I'm, I think I'm able to retain my length and also the integrity of my ends because I'm keeping my hair moisturized. And so, <laughs> so I think, let's say for now, I'm probably gonna do two times a year and just really take care of my hair. But I'm also not afraid to just go to the salon and get it cut off. I'm not afraid of that. How often do you use heat? Um, okay, so in terms of like flat ironing, straightening and all that stuff, that's only when I'm getting my hair trimmed. I get my hair trimmed, cut on straight, straight hair, not blown out hair, straight hair. Because of the way that my hair curls up and shrinks up and the many textures I have going on, that's why I get the blunt cut. That way the back is shorter because the middle of my hair is coilier. And so it curls up more. And so if I have layers, the back is just gonna be super long and the middle is just gonna shrink up. So that's why, I'm like, just straighten it. I've done it curly, I've done it blown out, and I've gotten layers, and all those times I did not like my hair when it was time for me to wear curlies. But with that, you just kind of have to kind of figure out what works best for you because what works best for me is might not work for you. It just depends on how your hair grows and you know how you like your hair to lay. Okay, um, do you take supplements? I take a woman's like multivitamin, but I don't take any hair, skin and nail vitamin. I take, I feel like I take enough pills in my life that I just don't wanna overdo it. And so unless I feel that I have a deficiency and my hair isn't growing at a rate that I like, I won't be taking a like hair, skin and nail vitamin. But if I realize my hair, my hair is really, really frizzy and I've done all that I can do or that my hair is just kind of like dull or thinning, then I might consider it. But as for now, me, taking Taking my multivitamins and eating well and drinking water has really helped my hair to thrive. What is your favorite oil? My favorite oil is the melanin hair care oil. That oil is so versatile and it's super slippery. Okay, like I was able to detangle with that oil. I'm gonna put the video of when I first used it, when I actually detangled with it. I'm gonna put that in the cards and down below, but y'all, <laughs> slip city. And then when I'm taking my twist down and I put that on my twist and my hands, when I'm separating, it is so smooth. That oil has a lot of good oils in it and it's bomb. And it's not a thick oil, it kind of just absorbs into the hair nicely, so that's why I like it. <laughs> How long does it take for you to do wash day? It depends, right? So today I'm doing my like quick wash day where I just det I detangle my hair in the shower, shampoo, conditioner. It's just that it's taking extra time because I decided that I wanted to film in the middle of it. But my wash days span from, it can go from 20 minutes to two hours. It just depends on what I'm doing, right? So if it's a quick wash day where I'm just co-washing or doing like a maybe like a detox mask type of situation and that's all I'm using, then
then, oh yeah, 20 minutes. Basically, I'm just detangling my hair outside of the shower, letting the, the mask sit on my hair while I do stuff, and then I rinse it out and I'm done. That is one method that I use. Another one is me just detangling in the shower um, before shampooing, and then I shampoo, conditioner, shower, rinse, done. That's another method. If I'm trying to be extra, then I detangle, take my time, detangle outside of the shower, eat some food. <laughs> You know, like take my time, then I'll get in the shower. I will um, shampoo, deep conditioner, sit in my deep conditioner for 30 minutes, you know, walk around the house, maybe take an hour. You know, like it, it just depends on what time I have and my hair needs, right? Today my hair didn't really need a lot. It just needed to be clean. And so I'm like, oh, I can do my one of my quicker wash days, but this is prolonging it. <laughs> okay, I'm almost, I'm almost dry, I'm almost dry. What's the next one? Who is your hair crush? Okay, so let's just put this out there. I absolutely love my hair. I love everything about it, but that doesn't mean that I can't admire others, right? So my hair crush is Minnie Marty. Her hair is like, I just love how her hair coils up. I love how it just kind of sits on the top of her head when she has her, you know, her curly froze or whatever, her curly updo. And then most of the time, the things that her hair likes, my hair likes. I feel like there are certain parts of my hair that are similar to hers, but when I'm looking at the camera, her hair looks like it's like the same texture all the way through. And so that's why I say some of my hair is like hers and anything she, her hair likes, my hair likes. <laughs> yeah, so that is someone's hair that I do admire. And the last question, do you dye your hair? And the answer is no. Why you ask? Because I've done it before and it destroyed my curl pattern. Y'all, my hair has never been chemically anything. And so when I put the color in my hair, um, my bougie strands was like, no ma'am. <laughs> They went on strike and I mean, I used the Shea Moisture dyes and I figured, oh, this is gonna be not as harsh on my hair because it doesn't have any ammonia in it. It was this like, you know, burgundy type of color and you could only really see it in the sun because I didn't lift my hair or anything like that. I literally, me, my roommate, Keisha, she just helped me put it on. And I didn't know at the time that it altered my curl pattern, but it wasn't until I grew all of the color out and I got like a bob, like I just cut everything, all of it off. And I was like, wait, my hair is mad curly. What was I doing before? <laughs> I thought I was cute. <laughs> Yeah, and so I was, I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna color my hair again. I might do one of those like, you know, color paint wax things that is just temporary, you could just wash out. Those don't have any chemicals in it. But in terms of anything dealing with chemicals, my hair will reject it. So no, it is a no for me. But I'm going to take the mask off my face, rinse this mask out of my hair and give you guys my final thoughts on the Honey's Handmade Mask. Y'all already know I like this mask on my face though. So. I don't even give you no final thoughts, but I'll be back. Y'all, my hair looks and feels really, really good. I don't, like, when I was rinsing it out, because my hair felt so good, it almost felt like there was product still on it, and so I was kind of like, let me keep rinsing, but no, it just leaves your hair feeling really soft and supple. Wow. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. This was so dope. I loved using both masks. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit. <laughs> Let me know down below if you like these type of video, if you guys have any topics you want me to talk about, and we can do this again. But this was fire. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, yeah, so um, if you guys are interested in seeing like what I wash my hair with, and then also what I'm gonna be using on my hair after this, then, you know, make sure you hit that bell so that you're notified when my next video comes up. Because in my next video, I'm gonna reveal it all. <laughs> okay, so that is it. I'm gonna finish my wash day, but don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you all peace, love, and good mask vibes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Can nobody tell me nothing. I got the horses in the back. Do it, 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 do it,